Hello students, in our today's lecture, we are going to start exercise 8.4 of chapter trigonometry, class 10th book NCRT, we are following. To start with exercise 8.4, we need to learn few formulas. Let us see first of all those formulas. First one is sin square a plus cos square a is equal to 1 second 1 plus tangent square a is equal to secant square a and third one is 1 plus cotangent square a is equal to cosecant square a. So, these are the three formulas which we need to learn to do the questions of this exercise. Okay. So, do remember these formulas. Let us start question number 1. Question number 1 is express the trigonometric ratios sin a, secant a and tangent a in terms of cotangent a. So, what we need to do in this question, we need to express sin a, secant a and tangent a in terms of cotangent a. So, we are having these three formulas to do all these transformations. Okay, so, let us start first of all sin a we are focusing and second one is secant a. So, these two because tangent is very easy. If I see tangent to convert into cotangent a, see we have done already one formula that tangent a is equal to 1 by cotangent. So, directly this formula can be used and we can express tangent a in terms of cotangent a. So, third part is very easy. This one must be clear to all according to our previous formula we can write. But what about others two? Let us have a look. First of all, this formula I am going to use sin square a plus cos square a it is equal to 1, right. So, this is the formula which we have and last one is this one 1 plus cotangent square a is equal to cosecant square a. We need to check these two formulas. Second one I am writing 1 plus cot square a is equal to cosecant square a. What comes to my mind that this cotangent square a plus 1 if everything is written like the same way it is already there this cosecant square a can be written as 1 by sin square a. Right? Now what I can do I can do the cross multiplication or secondly I can take reciprocal on both sides see if I take reciprocal then what will happen 1 by sin square a its reciprocal is sin square a and 1 plus cotangent square a will become 1 by 1 plus cotangent square a both ways it can be written if i do the cross multiplication this sin square will move here and this 1 plus cotangent square a will move to this denominator anyway you can remember now value of sin square a i am already having so, what I am left with just taking square root on both sides. If I do taking square root on both sides, left side will become only sin a and right side will become 1 by root 1 plus cotangent square a because when we take square root sin square a, this square will be removed only sin a will remain. Under root of 1 is 1 and under root of 1 plus cot square I have written. Now, see sin a is expressed in terms of cotangent a. In my right side only cotangent is there. So, that is the way it can be done. Now, the last which we need to prove is for secant a. Let us see how can we write for secant a. Look at this formula. We can use the middle formula. Formula is 1 plus tangent square a equal to secant square a. Tangent a can be written as 1 by cotangent a, right? Square as it is. 
there is no change in that it becomes 1 plus 1 by cotangent square a and next step we can take this cotangent square a LCM this cot square a multiplied with 1 we get cot square a then plus 1 now taking square root on both sides this square will be removed we will be getting secant a only then under root of cot square a plus 1 we can write it as it is under root of cot square a this square will be removed and we will be left with only cot a so that is how we can express secant a in terms of cotangent a using all these three formulas there can be another method also like another formula can also be used like sin square a plus cos square a is equal to 1 we can find cos square a from here which will become 1 minus sin square a then write cos a as 1 by secant a so there from there also we can find its value but this is the easiest way whichever formula you find easier you can use now let us see for second question second question we are going to start question is write all the trigonometric ratios of angle a in terms of secant a what we need to do in terms of secant a we need to write all other trigonometric ratios all other means sine cos tangent cosecant and cotangent so from where should we start that depends upon us like in terms of secant a i need to write first one is very easy cos a can be written as 1 by secant a so first term is done we have expressed trigonometric ratio cos a in terms of secant a now sin square a plus cos square a it is equal to 1 value of cos a is 1 by secant a let us see next step first of all cos square a should be moved to right side then value of cos a is 1 by secant a so it can be written as 1 by secant square a take secant square a lcm we get secant square a minus 1 so this is the value of sin square a taking square root on both sides we get sin a is equal to under root of secant square a minus 1 and in denominator we will get only secant a so as of now we have expressed cos a and sin a both in terms of secant a now third which formula can be used 1 plus tangent square a is equal to secant square a what do we get value of tangent square a as secant square a minus 1 taking square root on both sides we get tangent a is equal to root secant square a minus 1 so see we have expressed cos in terms of secant a sin in terms of secant a and tangent in terms of secant a so up to now we are done with three parts and then for cosecant a we know that cosecant a is equal to 1 by sin a right and what is the value of sin a just put here under root of secant square a minus 1 upon secant a and finally this secant a will move at top and its denominator will contain root secant square a minus 1 so this is how we can express for cosecant a so we are done with cos sin tangent and cosecant just last one is left i am writing here cotangent a it should not take time because we know that cotangent a is equal to 1 by tangent a 
if tangent a is root secant square a minus 1 just put the value of tangent a root secant square a minus 1 so that is how now cotangent a is also expressed in terms of secant a so in first two questions of exercise 8.4 what we have done we had learned three formulas and then those three formulas we had used to express one trigonometric ratio in terms of another trigonometric ratios i hope you are clear with the concept of using these formulas in our next lecture we will continue with question number three thank you